Hello today's video we have the following content. 36 year old Liu Yifri, why is she so fat in the new drama? There are only 10 days until the new year, and at this time of year, the hottest topic in the entertainment industry is undoubtedly the CCTV Spring Festival Gala. However, what attracted more attention was the new drama Go Where the Wind is starring Liu Yifri and Li Xian. This drama not only makes people feel the beautiful scenery of Yunnan, but also shows the wonderful performances of the two stars. When talking about the Spring Festival Gala, people always think of Yu Yunhan, a cross drunk actor and a person who can ignite the laughter at the Spring Festival Gala. However, on January 10 this year, Yu Yunhan announced on Weibo that he would participate in the Hunan Satellite TV Spring Festival Gala, which means that he may not be able to attend the CCTV Spring Festival Gala. For crosstalk lovers, this is undoubtedly a pity. Yu Yunpeng's performance in the Spring Festival Gala once made people expect him to become an evergreen tree in the Spring Festival Gala. However, this year, he may not be seen in the CCTV Spring Festival Gala again. As a kind of traditional Chinese culture, Crosstalk once had a glorious moment on the Spring Festival Gala. However, as time goes by, Crosstalk seems to have lost its former luster on the Spring Festival Gala stage. Fan Gong participated in the Spring Festival Gala the most times among the cross Dog actors, but later his performances basically turned to sketches. It seems that cross Dog can no longer compete with sketches on the stage of the Spring Festival Gala. Yu Yunpen was once a ray of light in the cross talk world, bringing laughter and joy to people. However, this year's decision seems to make people lament that the plight of cross talk in the Spring Festival Gala may not be Yu Yunpeng's problem alone. Speaking of this year's Spring Festival Gala, I have to mention the new drama Go Where the Wind is starring Liu Yifri and Li Xian. This drama has become a topic of great concern at the moment with its unique pastoral scenery and healing plot. Although the story of Xia Omei Hongdao stepped on Kaodun during the journey, her adventure did not stop there, but was intertwined with a wonderful love story. Liu Yifri's outfit in the play has also become the focus of attention. She used Yunnan's unique pastoral style as the keynote, showing a comfortable and natural dressing style. From her basic suits to ethnic style outfits, each outfit makes people feel the beauty and multiculturalism of Yunnan. In the play, Liu Yifri's wardrobe is mostly basic, but she cleverly embellishes the details to make the overall look simple yet extraordinary. She is good at using the same color rule to make her hair accessories, pants and tops echo in color, showing a harmonious and exquisite outfit. In terms of ethnic costumes, Liu Yifri also unabashedly demonstrated the multiculturalism of Yunnan. Wearing a printed dress, a silk scarf and a waistcoat of the same color, she blended tradition and modernity to create an otherworldly atmosphere. In the play, Liu Yifri and Li Xian performed many Yunnan specialties, especially rice noodles, which appear frequently. Looking at Li's expression on delicious food in the current drama, people can't help but drool. Yunnan Dai style delicacies such as pounded feet and fried potatoes have also become highlights in the play. This made the audience full of curiosity about Yunnan food and also triggered a war of words to a certain extent. Su Hongdao chose Dali as her travel destination in the play, and the scenery here has become a part of the audience's talk. The beautiful scenery of Erhei Lake, Fengyang Village, Shaxi Ancient Town and other places are fully displayed in the play. The audience seems to be able to feel the tranquility and beauty of Dali through the screen. For those viewers who are inspired by the scenery and the drama and want to experience it for themselves, we have specially compiled a Yunnan check-in guide. From Dali's Arhalic to Fengyang village, and then to Shaxi ancient town, these suggested check-in places will be a good place for you to follow Liu Yifri's footsteps. The story of Xia Omei Hongdao may be individual, but Go Where the Wind is is not only a healing drama, but also a feast about Yunnan scenery, food and culture. This drama not only healed the audience emotionally, but also gave us a visual feast about Yunnan through the superb acting skills of Liu Yifri and Li Xian. In the new year, let us follow in the footsteps of Xia Omei Hongdao and go to windy places to experience the beauty and tranquility of Yunnan. At the same time, we also look forward to more excellent entertainment works that will bring more laughter and warmth to the audience.